and if I'm not mistaken there is another function yes this one just let me copy the name back here from get all content and as well call do dot get all content so far so good and here i want to create another class for handling the situation of data status so let me create this class and why we need to use this class this class is responsible for determining the current status of the data when we get in it uh, and you can use this class for your other project when you work with api you can work it with the room you can work it with the api and in any other project that you work with the data and you need to check data status and this class it should be as a data class and uh, here just need to put it out and here put your situation of uh, the data the first thing is about status of data as a status we create this status uh, letter just please don't import any class of Kotlin here. And the next thing is about uh, our data that come from API or our database, it doesn't matter. And the last thing about message, if you work with the API, maybe you got some message or error code and you can uh, put it there as a message, it can be as a, a string and just let me put it as a null and the other things here that I want to handle it is empty a situation so okay and it can be as a boolean and the default value is false here is done and uh, let me create a body and here I want to use enum class for creating this status so let me okay uh, we have three situation is loading um, the other one is success and the other one error okay good and here I need to have companion object to handle uh, the situation. Okay, good. If it is uh, loading, so loading, yes. So uh, data status here, just pay attention that you use uh, this class, as you can see here okay uh, data status and here we can return data status and status of loading and also here I should create another function for a successful situation so again here should like that If success situation here uh, that means I have access to my uh, data and uh, maybe a uh, list is empty so here as well I can put my empty situation for checking so uh, data status yes this one okay and here it can return 
our data status and status dot shucks and data and also can pass empty and put it is empty here and the last function uh, is about the error handling so from uh, if is error so here I can have access to error message as a string and call my data status here and then return um, data status status as error and also call message and past error here okay here our work is done the next step uh, here is creating our view model why we need to have view model because uh, we should separate our business logic uh, from the ui logic somehow the structure of uh, this project is like mvvm so uh, because of that i want to separate this logic and uh, the purpose of using view model in general is to encapsulate the data for a ui controller to let the data survive configuration change so in the view model package let me create a class put the name everything that you want like database view model okay the first thing here uh, put health annotation for a view model as you can see health has um, a separate annotation just for a uh, view model so like that and here i should extend this class from view model and here i want to use inject and call my constraint and let me import this inject okay and here i want to have to access to my repository so private val yes repository from database repository here i want to have my business logic for a safe content and also get all content and here you can see how it's follow works first let me uh, create a function for save contact okay good and here I should uh, use my entity yes is correct and uh, here I should call the model scope dot launch and call repository and save contact and put my entity here Okay, uh, let's continue to create another function for uh, getting all contact. So, uh, I want to create a variable private well contact list as a mutable live data. Yes, and here I should call data status and then a list of my contact entity good and I want to have another variable contact list as a live data yes and again uh, data status and the list of my contact entity and then here I should call get and pass my contact list why 
I use this list like that because uh, here I encapsulated our variables as a live data in our uh, view model class. So the point of this act is to not expose uh, mutable live data outside of the view model. The internal version should be a mutable live data, have an uh, underscore in front of its name and be private. The underscore is our convention for marking the variable as the internal version of our variable. So uh, the external version should be a live data and not have an underscore in the front of its name. And I can access to the list of my contacts with this variable. So let's continue and uh, create a function for getting my data. Get all contacts. Okay. And here I should call a view model scope and call launch. And here I should call my repository. So repository dot get all contacts. Okay. And as I know, this list as a follow here, as you can see. So how we can work with this follow list, uh, let me show you. We can put uh, two situations. And as I mentioned in the previous video that we worked with operators follow. So here I want to use catch. Sometimes maybe uh, happen some error and with this operator, I can handle that error. So here I should call my internal uh, variable and post value data status. Yes, this one that if uh, there is any error. So here I can pass it that message that to string. Good. And the other things that I need to have it here is collect for collecting my data. So use collect and again call my uh, internal variable and post value. And here I should call data status uh, this one dot uh, sucks. And here I should pass data and then if it's empty or not. Good. Our work here is done uh, for now. Uh, we will add other function, for example, for um, searching, for sorting, for delete all contacts, for editing. For now uh, is done. Just in this video, I want to tell you about adding a contact and see the list of your contacts here. So here our work is done with the view model. And the next step is creating uh, our adapter. So here in the adapter package, let's create a class contact adapter. Good. And as I want to inject my adapter in my fragment, in my, uh, for example, activity here, I can uh, use uh, inject with empty constructor and uh, it's okay. And here uh, I should extend from recycler view dot adapter. And here I should pass adapter dot view holder. Okay, good. And just let me first 
create my inner class. Good. And now I can implement. Okay, good. Just let me move it to the bottom. Okay, good. So let's continue. The first thing that I want to have here, accessing to my binding in my uh, layout of each item. So private Latinate var binding, oh, this is not binding, this one, item contact binding, and inside of uncreate view holder. Just let me call my bonding and use item contacts bonding. Okay, inflate here, load inflator from parent dot contents and pass parent and the last thing is false. Good, and here just need to return my view holder like that and also let me create my diff util callback here private val differ callback object of a diff util yes and here I want to use item callback and here pass my entity contact entity yes just add this one and here as you can see I should implement some members yes it's good for the first one just we should need a uh, return old item that id if you call it a new item dot id okay copy and paste it here and here we should use these item without id okay good and here after uh, this variable, I should create another one. Differ async uh, list differ. Yes, this one. And here I should just uh, pass this and my previous variable as differ. Yes, this one. Differ call back. Okay, here is done. Let's back into our view holder and here I should extend it from recycler view dot view holder and here let me pass my binding dot root good and here I just want uh, to have a, a function you can put every name that you want and here just pass my item as a contact entity and binding dot apply and here I have uh, two text view about name and about phone so name item dot name good and duplicate another one just change TV phone and here as well okay and now let's complete this function just here need call a holder dot set data and here need call my differ dot current list and here pass my position good and here just need to uh, equal with uh, 
differ dot current list dot size. So far, so good. Uh, here, our work is done with our adopter. Let's continue to working uh, with main activity. The first thing here, I should add Android entry point. And just let me check about add fragment. Yes, as well here, please add uh, Android entry point. Okay, back into main activity. And in the main activity here, I want to work with uh, this button to add my contact into the list. So when I click on this fab icon, this fragment dialog shows me. So let's do it. Let me check the bottom. No, there's no ID. Okay, let me add btn show dialog, for example, is good. So uh, let's back here and uh, let me add binding, let's net where, uh, yes, this one, copy, paste it here. Okay, and uh, yes, load inflator, and here just need binding dot root. So the first thing here, I want to set support action bar, and here just need to call my toolbar. Just let me let me check the ID of my toolbar okay main toolbar back into main activity okay good and here for showing that dialog so just need to call my btn set on click listener now for opening that fragment just need to call the fragment name and here just need to call show and here inside the show body just need call support fragment manager and here also need pass at fragment and tag good let's check how it's work or not Okay, as you can see here, there is uh, our application. If I click on this button, yes, as we expected, the fragment dialog is opened for us. So just uh, need some changes. And as you can see here, there is no radius and this text view is not in good situation. And also here, uh, our toolbar uh, cannot show our menu. So. Uh, let's fix these things. Okay, back into code. And the first thing about uh, this corner here into the fragment, uh, just here, let's call dialog that window. And there is a uh, attribute, a set background drawable. Yes, this one. And here you can call color drawable. And here you can call color transparent. Yes, this one, guys. And here just need put question mark okay let me try again okay it's done and as you can see here uh, this text as well is fixed 
So let's continue for uh, fixing the issue uh, for showing the icon here uh, back into Android Studio. With this uh, method, we can set our toolbar to act as an action bar. I guess this method caused the error, so let me uh, comment this part and uh, run it again. So, see what happened. Now, as you can see, it fixed. So, uh, let's continue uh, for working with these fragment dialog when user click on the save button I expected to save these information uh, into our database so let's go to add contact fragment here and here first I need to inject my entity so let me do it in yes inject Latinate var entity as a contact entity. And here, the other things that I want to have is my uh, view model. So, private val uh, view model as a database view model. Yes, this one by view models yes great and also i want to have some variables uh, for id for name and also for phone so let me add it private var id contact ID okay yeah now it's fixed private to our name and the last thing private var phone good and just here I want to have my binding as well latinate var binding for my yes this one is correct and copy paste it here call inflate and here pass inflator container and also false and here let me return binding dot root and also here I need to have uncreated view. So on view created. Yes, this one. And call binding dot apply. The first thing about that image about uh, close the dialog. It's so easy. Just need call set unclick listener. And here, just call dismiss. And what about the BT and save? Just let me call it here and set on click listener for this view. And put the name from the edit text. And as well for the phone, let me change it. Oh, sorry, isn't right. Edit phone. Yes, now it's good. And just need call to a string to fix the error. Good. And here, uh, if uh, these edit texts are empty I just want to show a small toast so if a name is 
empty and also a phone is empty uh, just show me a snack bar that make and here the first argument is view so just need to put it and the second one is our message name and phone cannot be empty good and the other things uh, the length of the time uh, or somehow a duration of time so just need to call a snack bar uh, the short one is good for us and the last thing call show okay and if it's not empty so it should save into database and here I should call my entity I should just uh, set contact ID here and uh, entity name put the name here and as well for phone put a phone and here I just need to call my view model yes and call my save function and here just need to pass my entity all thing is good the last thing here that I want to do is uh, cleaning my edit text after saving the data into database so edit name just set text is empty as well for my another okay and also we can uh, dismiss our deal just that here our work is done uh, we can now back into main activity and getting the list and show to user just before that i want to show you how we can work with app inspection uh, when you work with uh, for example with database and how it's work it's a really a useful a feature in android studio so let me run the application and here as well let me yet there is no process the application is run and then i can come back here uh, here as you can see automatically it recognizes our application and here just uh, let me test how uh, that functionality i have added into add contact fragment as work or not so here first i don't want to enter the name to sing uh, the toast okay as you can see if these edit texts are empty so show me a snack bar so array with this for example phone number i can save it and as you can see here i can see my contact table let me uh at uh, another uh, name here for example this one with this phone number and it's a and here yes as you can see our database has a tree field with this id with this name and with this phone because uh this feature really great feature sometimes you don't get any error but your application doesn't work well so you can check uh, your database behavior here and uh, you can see your code is working or not let's go back into main activity for uh, getting the list of our contacts and showing in the recycler view so in the main activity i need uh, to have my adapter my view model so first inject my adapter here a latinate var contact 
adapter yes this one okay and also i want to have my view model here private well uh, view model let me change it to capital okay database view model yes and view model Okay, and also capital. And let me import it. Okay, good. Here, first, I need to call my function. So, view model dot get all contact, and then I should have access to my list. So, view model dot contact list observer and here i can pass this with my main activity name and here as you can see it contain my list of contact entity it just let me show you something as you can see here the progress bar and also the empty layout uh it shows to me so I should handle uh, both situation here with it that status I can handle all situation that I have the first situation is about um, loading so status of loading should do something and again I have it that for another situation and also for last situation the second one is when my situation is success so okay and the last one for facing the error okay good in the loading situation uh, my loading uh, should show to us so is visibility show I can handle it with uh, this attribute but I want to use extension function for that so let me uh, to create extension file here And is not comes from class, okay. And here, just let me create extension function like we visible, okay. And here, I want to pass. Just let me import it. Why? I can import it manually. Import android dot view dot view okay good here i want to pass uh, two parameters first one is uh, showing um, loading maybe in several situation uh you want to show your loading to user so here uh, you can handle it with uh, these parameters as a boolean and here you can uh, pass another parameter as container as view good and here if is a uh, show loading is true so here just uh, this uh, directly refer to the view that I want to use this function okay this visibility call view dot go and the container sorry here uh, we should uh, set is as a uh, visible yes but about the container 
we should set the visibility uh, for this as a gone. Good. And if it's false, again, call this, but this time uh, the this should be gone and the container it should be visible. Good. I think think yes now it's good just let me change it okay so back into main activity and here let me call my extension function as you can see here just call true and the container can be a recycler view and here I should handle my empty uh, body as well again call our extension function and here it can be false and again uh, call our recycler view so so far so good and about the next situation here it is empty uh, that means uh, we have access successfully uh, to our data but the list of data is empty how we can handle it here I want to have a function for handling this situation so here let me create a function like this and here call binding dot apply and here let me pass a parameter good as a boolean yes and here is shown is true that means the list is empty so here and the empty body is visible is uh, true and the container that means uh, list body it should be gone and if it's shown is false so sorry okay good and now here is set it as a false and list body uh, should be visible for me so come back here and here just need to pass it as you can see here uh, as a boolean so let's continue to showing our list if it's not empty that means my list contain of my contact so uh, here I should visible my loading so here call is visible and false and again here I should pass my recycler view and I should uh, submit my list into my adapter so call differ and submit list and here I can pass it dot data yes and then I can set this adapter for my recycler view. Okay, good. And uh, set load manager that linear load manager and just need here pass this. Okay, good. And the last thing here, I should set the adapter content adopter good so far so good uh, 
I guess here there is um, the lasting of the error. And just check uh, the loading again with our extension function. So false. And here pass RV content. Okay, good. And here I can uh, show toast. I set the context here and pass, for example, uh, eat that message. Yes, this one. Okay, all the thing is added. And let's check. As you can see here, our uh, database contains three fields. So let's check in our application. We should see these data here inside our recycler view. Here, as you can see, everything works. Uh, we can see our data inside our recycler view. Uh, there is no uh, empty layout and there is no uh, progress bar because we handle all these situation in uh, here for loading here if uh, the list is empty or not. And also here we handle if there was uh, any error. So for now it's done. In the next video, I will tell you about uh, adding fun functionality for these icon and also swipe to left and to uh, right of each record to delete and also to edit of each of your record so far so good guys see you soon in the next video